Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at simplifying expressions, but more specifically when we are dividing variables. Okay, so let's get started. This one here, very simple, we just divide the numbers. So 8 divided by 2 is 4, and we're left with an A. So that 8A divided by 2 is just 4A. Same thing here, 10B divided by 5, I'm just going to divide the numbers, which will 10 divided by 5 is 2, and I'm left with a B. Now, if I don't have any numbers, and we have some letters or variables, let's have a look. Now I've got A, B, C on top, divided by A. Now, when you have the same letter on the top and the bottom, you can cancel them off, because if you do A divided by A, you are dividing it by itself. Anything divided by itself is 1. So essentially I'm doing 1 times B times C, which just leaves me with BC. All you can do as a quick one is just cancel them off and then just write down what's left. In this case, it's BC. So, let's have a look at the next one then. It's like the same idea. What's, on what's the same on top and bottom? What's going to cancel? Well, I've got a B and a B and a D and a D. So what's left? I'm just left with AC. This time I put some numbers and variables in. So I'm just going to do the numbers first. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So I've dealt with the numbers, that's done. And I'm look at the, the variables now. I've got an A on top, A on the bottom. Nothing else will cancel, so it's 9BC. Now when you have powers, what I recommend to do is just to write it out. If you've seen the multiplying variables one, you'll know what I mean, but let's give it a go. So 15, and you might remember if you've seen that multiplying video that a dot just means times. So 15 times a times a is my a squared, and I've also got a times it by b, all divided by 3 times a times b. So just write it out, and then it makes it a bit easier to see what's going on. 15 divided by 3 is 5. I've got an A on top, A on the bottom, so I just cancel one off. And I've got a B on the bottom and a B on the top, which leaves me with just 1A on the top. So my answer there is 5A. Same thing here. Lots going on. So let's expand it out and see what we've got. So 18 times x cubed, so that's x times x times x, so I've got three of them. y to the power of four, so I'm times that by y times y times y times y, so I've got four of them. That's all being divided by six times x, and then y squared, so y times y. Now we have a look, do the numbers, 18 divided by six is three, cross them off, they're done. I've got one x on the top, one x on the bottom, so they cancel out. And I've got a Y on top, Y on the bottom, and I've got another Y on top and Y on the bottom. Nothing's left uh, on the bottom, so let's have a look. I've got left with an X times an X, which is X squared, and a Y times a Y, which is Y squared. And last one here. Sometimes you might have to do a little bit of uh, simplifying on top before you can do the bottom. So this one here, I've got 4A squared B times 5 a, B cubed. So I'm going to work that out first. So again, if you haven't seen the multiplying, simplifying expressions, but multiplying variables video, this is where this comes from. So I'm just going to do that first. So 4 times A times A times B times 5 times A times B times B times B. I'm going to rearrange that, all the, no letters, sorry, all the numbers first and letters in alphabetical. So 4 times 5 times A times A times A. So I've got the 4, I've got the 5, I've got two A's and that A, and I'm left with four B's. Okay. So when I work this out, I'm going to have 20 A to the power of 3, B to the power of 4. Okay, so that's what's going to go on top. However, I'm just going to rewrite this slightly, because I now need to do my division. So I'm going to have my 20, and then a to the power of 3, which is 1, 2, 3, a, so exactly the same as that, and b to the power of 4, which is exactly the same as that. So that's what's on top. 
Now I can expand the bottom bit here, 2 times a and then b squared, which is b times b. And now I can do my division. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Dealt with that. I've got 1a on top, 1a on bottom, so they cancel. I've got 1b on top, 1b on the bottom. Another b on top, another b on the bottom. And therefore I'm left with a squared, these two here, and b times b, which is b squared. Okay. Now, some of you might be wondering, what happens if you don't cancel everything that's on the bottom? Well, let's have a look at this one then. So, the same thing. I'm just going to write this out. 7 times x times y divided by 14 times x times x times y. So, let's have a look. Well, 7 divided by 14, that's a half. If I simplify that, I'll think of it as a fraction, 7 over 14. That will simplify to a half. And then an x will cancel, an x will cancel, a y will cancel, a y will cancel, and I'm just left with an x on the bottom. So if I was to do this one, it would just be 1 on top divided by 2x. So it's exactly the same thing. You just cancel what you can cancel, simplify what you can simplify, and then see what's left. If that's what's left, that's your answer. Okay, hope that's useful, guys. Thanks for watching.